my childhood was kind of uh, different than I think a lot of just, I guess, the normal childhood. I grew up with two moms, which was not really cool yet in the 80s, but I never saw it like that. I kind of just saw it as like I had two moms, which was even better. When I was like four years old, being babysat like backstage at like community theater in Tahoe, I definitely wanted to like be my mom. You know, she would, she was working like three jobs at the time and, and she would just step on stage in like a wig and makeup and she would just be this completely different person and it was so awe-inspiring. We kind of grew up without a lot of money, so we just moved around a lot. Um, which at this point I'm kind of like stoked that I learned about money in that way, but still see it as kind of a, um, like this fantasy game, you know? It's like, it's not really real, you know? Because the most important things you'll do in your life, you'll never get paid for. It's hard to kind of build a character and pursue music. Um, so right now it's been really nice because I've been able to kind of just work and concentrate on the record um, and kind of the creative vision of how to bring it out and what the you know tours are and how to kind of make it really special. Uh, Jenna and I met at this uh, Christmas party. I was kind of the house pianist. The person putting on this event asked Jenna to sing a song. I had just built this, like, Jimmy rigged this instrument out of a big steamer trunk that I called my shoe. And I brought it down to LA to kind of start just playing on street corners and like failing 90% of the time and just trying to find that like 10% glory. And like I had gone so far with the freestyle, I started feeling so comfortable there that I wanted to start kind of writing songs. I wanted to really craft stories with music. When you're going through something that's a little bit harder, you kind of want to listen to something that makes that makes you feel like everything's gonna be okay or that like you kind of identify with. And then we met at that show and I was like, oh my God, this is the band. Like the two of us doing, you know, like him leading me, me leading him, like us not knowing where we're going. But it's, it's worked out. We've kind of, you know, on this new record, we've kind of honed in and have been trying to focus on something kind of soft and light and, you know, kind of, and then like kind of a little bit more lyrically hard hitting where you're, you know, talking about some stories that are a little bit, you know, a little bit more hard on the heart. The balance between, you know, acting and music or your life and your art and, you know, as an actor or a storyteller, those lines are so blurry all the time. So I feel like I just try to focus on one thing at a time and then, you know, and then once you dive into a character, that's all I want to do. Like, it's too hard to kind of be doing both. I think you just have to kind of pick one and live it and then let the other one come. 